Hello YouTube. <laughs> I went to uh, take my trash down to the dumpster back there. I'm using my back camera on my phone. And something caught my eye up here. And I thought we would just go up here and take a walk and see what we found. Then I'll show you what I found yesterday or day before yesterday. Probably day before yesterday. Anyway, we're just walking and I'm gonna switch the camera here. So now we're walking up here to see what all we have laying here because apparently there's trash. <laughs> Oh my god, these people never cease to amaze me, man. Field's kind of damp, soggy. Ever since they did this road fix, they screwed everything up. Now it's just one big pond right there when it rains. neighbor coming in from work anyway we got a bunch of trash up here <laughs> somebody's clearing out their garage again I swear it's what it looks like somebody's just clearing out their fucking garage excuse my language but man this pisses me the hell off if this was my property these these guys would be caught already Oh, Lord. And yes, there's some stuff here I can use, too, man. Two microwaves I can strip. Look at all this stuff. Look. There's a gear motor for a sunroof. And you know what? I bet you every bit of that is there. That sunroof. <laughs> well, it looks like I'm going to have to go get the truck. Clean this up. Stainless steel pot there. Clean that up and make a nice pot through in your kitchen. Uh, microwaves we can rob parts out of and the trash we can throw away. There's a piece of felt over there, big, thick, quarter-inch, thick uh, felt. That's nice to have a little bit of that laying around. And there's a rug over there. If it ain't too bad, hell, I'll put it on my porch. <laughs> uh, got a little cage down there, and it looks like it's a bingo. I don't know, it might be a rotisserie. That might be a rotisserie right there. And the door's right there, if it ain't broke, there's the other piece to it. So I might have just found me a rotisserie, too. <laughs> All right, and then we got this old recliner here. I ain't nothing too awful worry about that recliner. But, got some speakers here. Bunch of other stuff. And we got a cable. Oh hell, that looks like a brand new cable. Brand new cable with a hook on it. Look at that. Well, trash day seems to have turned into a score day <laughs> for the bison workshop. This is hilarious as hell, man, but daggone, it's aggravating having to do this. Yes, I like getting the free shit, but dad going. They could bring me the good stuff, throw the rest of it to the dumpster and be nice about it, right? Anyway, I'm going up to the house, get my truck, let my landlord know that I'm coming down here to get it. I guess I'm working. Anyway, 
until we're ready to sort through this i'll have my other camera right now i was caught off guard and had my phone so this is what i started the video series on and i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make a little series about uh the day in the life of picking trash at the bison workshop <laughs> something like that anyway uh ciao for now All right, guys, we're down here. We're going to start sorting through some of this stuff, see what we're going to keep and what we're not going to keep. And uh, I'm just going to set you guys right, well, not just set you right on the tailgate. And we'll go through some of this stuff. Winds are blowing, so you're probably going to get a lot of wind. take and put this on the bench and see what we got. So I just got finished doing the um, brackets. These brackets here. And I go ahead and take my trash while I'm doing the editing the video for the brackets and I just had to show this somebody's done dump twice and both times I came out like a fat rat so this is actually becoming uh, a theme of bison workshop picking trash and getting scores <laughs> uh, but day before yesterday, I, I explained it in the first part of the video, I found a one of big 55 gallon, I think they're 55 gallon, uh, Tupperware or Rubbermaid trash can and the base was there with the, all the wheels on it. It all looked brand new. It just slid up in the bottom of it and you twist it and you got wheels on it. And the trash can looked brand new, the uh, the base looked brand new, all the wheels worked fine. I, I just rolled it down to the dumpster and rolled it back up. And then I realized I had to ride down there anyway, so I could have just thrown it in the truck. So then I found this that was with the trash can. Yes, it does work. Got two switches, one for noise, 
sound like the brook. You can turn that off. And then you have a noisy motor in there that needs work. So I'm going to take this part and see if I can't find out what's making that noise. But that was in, in the, that bunch of stuff that somebody threw it out. It's trash day. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to pan you down here. We'll show you the rest of it. Uh, you already seen the um, sunroof. So I got me a cable here. It has a hook on it. And something looks nasty on it. We're going to get that off first. A bunch of grease off of something. Tarry grease. Get that off there before I get it all over everything in this shop. Yeah, I got a hook and a cable, and I got other cable here somewhere if I need more. So I took a bunch of garage doors apart, so that would make a nice uh, thing to have. We'll lay it up to the side here. We got a pry bar of some sort. Uh, dip stick. Or something. That can be made into a circle again. And then, uh, some kind of a mount. Probably for a transmission or motor or something. But it can be used for anything. You don't have to be used for a motor. for a uh, pressure washer looks like it ought to be pretty good purple but I do have some parts for a part uh, a wand that this might fit on I don't know and we got two of these stainless two of these stainless steel things and I do I'm pretty sure I have another stainless steel container in the house that this will lay down in and the same lid fit it and I think this would be the same difference yep so I have the pan that these go to so I'll bleach them up real nice and clean them up they're stainless steel uh, and then I'm hoping this will fit one of my skillets. If it does, I'll clean that up real nice and pretty and sanitize it. And we got a boot. Too bad I couldn't use that on my tractor. Probably wouldn't have enough get uh, travel. Um, then this lid, it probably won't fit nothing, but figured I'd bring it up here and just throw it in a scrap pile. Unless I got a pan that fits. If I do, then I'll use it. And you got speakers here, two of them. Interesting to see how good they work. Well, that one don't work for shit. They're trash. So they'll go into scrap. Sorry about the noise. Uh, this is a speaker that I do believe goes in my truck. And I do need one in my door. So I'm hoping this one works. Because this is, I'm pretty sure this is a Ford. Yep, it's a Ford speaker. So hopefully that works. And then I got some uh, gloss black paint. Krylon that is workable. 
got a pan with the lid or a container with the lid on it so I can store some stuff in it and then we got a rotisserie I think I'm pretty sure that's what this is been abused. George Jr. Huh. Well, if it's made by George, shit. It's worth checking it out. <laughs> uh, we gotta figure out how this goes on. Oh, I see. I think it slides on. this is for like a nugget type deal I'm going to read up on this because I think all the parts are here because that fits just need some cleaning up in there yeah got a cage and a rotisserie that don't want to come apart should. Oh, I see. Okay, you gotta take that off. Okay. I thought that slid out of the center. Anyway, yeah, it's all here, man. Needs cleaned up. That's all stainless steel, so it's just uh, grease. So that'll clean up real nice. So, I got a retestery, and now let's see if it'll work. Let's take the cage out of it. And let's inspect the wire, make sure that it's uh, not frayed anywhere. And it's not. Alright, we got the power is off. Everything seems to be in order. So let's see if this thing works. I hate doing this for the first time. That would I'd shit if this worked. All right, we got power going to it. So now. Let's turn this. Got a power light on. Probably going to see smoke. Just from it burning it off of the uh, burner. It's getting warm. I'd actually like to try doing a rotisserie.
thing. It's done. Dinner is done. And it works. So, yippee. And we'll just slide this over out of the way. this box that can actually be turned into a nice box it's not a bad box now it just needs to be uh, somebody busted the side out of it here I can just put some glue down in there and clamp that and that that would be just like new and clean it up a little bit and put some stuff on it armor all or something let's see if we bring you down here so we got a 12 volt lighter to 12 volt lighter so I'm kind of wondering why the hell that's like that 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 wouldn't short out if you plugged it into your lighter and it hit the floorboard <laughs> Yeah, that's just a bad idea. So what that is to me is I'm going to cut that just in half right there. And then I'll have two of these ends in case I need it for something else. All right, and then I said we had lug nuts here. Got an assortment of lug nuts here, a couple of acorns. A spring, a Ford brake spring for my truck, one of my adjusters, slack adjusters, that does fit my truck, spring, that was, no, I don't know what that spring is for, whatever it was, it was, has foam in it to keep it from making a noise, a little brush for cleaning out tubes, safety glasses, information, <laughs> find out who's doing this so I can send them a freaking letter saying thank you guys for all your stuff. Uh, next time will you bring it up close to my house? <laughs> Alright, that says U.S. Career Institute. 2001, 2001 Lowe Street, Fort Collins, Colorado. Yeah, okay, whatever. They didn't come from Colorado to frickin', uh, so they must be from Colorado. Well, there's his name. Oscar Romus Jr. Sealy Incorporated. Hmm. Wonder why they're throwing their junk on, on our driveway. And there he is again in a business card. And there he is again on a uh, law enforcement uh, acknowledgement receipt for surrender of North Carolina license. So he had to give up his license. So he's a bad boy. Then we got a marker that does work. Oh, got them empty shell casings. Pretty much trash, unless it can be used for some kind of a decoration or something. But I only got three. If I was going to decorate something, it'd probably be six. And there's a little um, elbow. A couple batteries. A switch holder. Trash. Look, we even got a little monkey. <laughs> Trash. Another nice screw. More trash. Did you hear me miss the trash? 
couple of little screws and some money probably a dollar's worth of pennies there and then I found two more cents on the uh, recliner I'm more excited about finding the pennies <laughs> Here's all trash. Hope he brings me some more good stuff. Empty that box out. And probably test them batteries. And I'll put all this stuff away. And you already know about this. We're going to take that motor and stuff off. So that's probably uh, going to be an unsimple task. <laughs> oh, okay, there they are. So we'll take that off, and uh, we know it's 12 volt because it goes in a car. So that might be a good ratio right there to use for something. Anyway. I'll, I'll take that off and uh, we'll end this video right where I am. What did I just hit? Hit the wrong button for one thing. So that's the score for the Bison Workshop. And uh, I just thought that was funny. I went down there to get all that or to uh, take, check my mail and take some trash down and end up with all this so now i gotta clean that up do some research on it see if i can find an owner's manual for it and download it and one day when i got more printer ink i will print me out a manual uh, so i want to try that out and then we got that box Can't figure out why on earth or if they put them in brackets or anything like that. Anyway, so there you have it. Bison score, accidentally, trash picking. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. Later.